Hello, 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 and welcome back to today's episode. Today, we are going to be killing things, I guess. Not too sure. Not really paying much attention. All I know is that there's a big fight. That I might just be stuck on for a while. So, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not good at this game. I'm not going to pretend like I am. I'm not going to pretend that I'm any better than I actually am. I know this is not going to go very well. Like, really? There's a good chance this won't even... I might not even make it through the door without dying. You see how he's there. Okay. I don't think they can follow me too far up, though. Oh, they can. They can. Where do you stop? Where do you stop? There's a cutscene, so I need to... Oh, dear. Another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one. Purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the mantle of Lord interests me none. The fire-linking curse, the legacy of Lords, let it all fade into nothing. You've done quite enough. Now have your rest. Okay, and now we're gonna get ready for a really tough fight. Come on. Can you like kill just for a second at least? Okay, shoot. That's the wrong button, I forgot how to play. I forgot how. There we go. He's gonna make this Brother, fight so much harder. I'm so proud. I'm a sword of Rothrex Prince. Rise if you would. For that is our curse. Yeah, now we need to kill them again. Is the brute. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. I couldn't tell. 
because he gets a buff. A lot buff. Because his first thing in the next phase starts off like that. <sighs> Lovely, right? So we're probably going to be stuck on this boss for a while. At the very least, is my guess. Oh yeah, I forgot. You need to take the elevator every toe, every time we die. I don't know why, but I could have sworn I reset that in the last episode. Anyway, how are you all today? Doing good, I hope. I've been, uh, chilling as best I can. My car is busted down, so... Yeah, fun times all around. And let's... Okay. Let's try and make it up here again without taking any damage. So sword guy, we need to dodge him instead of just trying to run past. We need to roll, roly poly, you know. And that's the thing. Lothric's first phase isn't that hard as long as you can dodge right. You know what might be a good idea though? Going to fight other bosses, or at least go and get the more shards or bones at one time. Stop your cat Don't give me enough time to heal. This is our wave. Our grave. Hello, we are here today to discuss your death. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I hate that little line of dialogue because it's so condescending. Like, this is our grave, but, but you can rest here too. Like, ugh, it's just so ugh, rude sounding, right? And by this point in my last last time I beat the game, I had already reached the Nameless King. I hadn't killed him. I have not beat him yet. I want to, though. But I understand I am not that talented. Okay, so far so good. Why were you going the wrong way? Are you kidding me? Okay, I got it. I got a heal. I hate those guys. Anyway, back to the fight. I'm gonna do that. 
Not that. That's not that we do. Can't see you either. Can you stop spinning the camera, please? That's the big thing about this fight. It's not hard, really. It's just kind of there. Like, most people can probably do this fight without even thinking about it, really. But you've already seen I'm not good with dodging. Okay, let's try again and try not to take damage on our way up this time. How long is it? It's been 10 minutes, just over. I'm hoping we don't have another Radigan and the Elder Beast here. Or another Melania. I really hope not, but it could very well be. Oh, come on! wasn't even close to hitting me and it still hit me. This isn't even gonna fully heal me. Okay, fine. Guess I just have to not take any damage for this next fight. Let's do it. That's on me, that's on me. I, I hit the wall button too. <sighs> I really love this fight because it reminds me of Dark Souls 2. But in the worst way. Because it's got difficult bosses. It's a difficult boss, hard boss. Dark Souls 2 didn't have that many hard bosses like Actually, I think I killed almost all the bosses in Dark Souls 2. Besides the ones I... Honestly, in Dark Souls 2, the hardest part was mostly just finding the bosses. Like, I never found the gargoyles, if you guys saw that. I looked around for them for a good bit, but I never found them. You might be wondering, oh, well, why didn't you look? Without the video roller, I did. I still couldn't find it. Good. No damage on the way up. That's great, actually. So I played this game four times now. I've beaten it once. Out, dude. Excuse me. Okay, I guess me dodging is just gonna end up with me hit. That's a thing, though. He's slow, but just fast enough. They'll catch you before your healing is over. The big one right here. Not that one. I'm dead. 
I really love this fight, but I'm sticking by my rules. If it is not a in-game summon, I am not using it. I'm not going to call in some random Joe to help me. Because Elden Ring, I beat that one for the first time. Actually, no way. Elden Ring, I did beat it on my own the first time because I didn't know you could actually summon people. Like, I'm pretty sure my third and fourth time I had to summon because the weapons I used, which were the ones I tried to use for the majority of the game, got heavily nerfed. And then, you want to hear the good news? They got buffed after I finished the game. Are you kidding me? Starting off with 10 flasks again. Lovely. It's always fun, isn't it? Hmm. I really don't know anywhere where I can. Okay, I guess just. Oh, why is it so delayed though? Like, look at that. I started healing like seconds after. There's no need for him to be the way he is. I hate that one move too. I'm tired of arguing with this game. Wait, can I block? Can I like carry that one move he does? Not that one. Um Actually, let's see. Probably gonna get me killed, but let's let's try it. Okay. Hey, hey buddy. Right here, right here, right here. No, but I feel like I can. Let's look at it. I feel like I remember being able to parry that, but I don't remember if I actually can. The Dark Souls games and parrying has a very weird history. Dark Souls 1, you could parry, um, actually I think every single thing besides like a handful of bosses. Dark Souls 2, parry whatever you want, but the best thing you could do is just hold up your shield and run in circles. You know what? Sure, I don't need the grass crest shield. I'm just gonna do this. I hope this is gonna work. Okay. I don't know if like I kill them they don't respawn or something, but I really do hate those guys. It's just annoying, you know? Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start without that, because I don't really need it. Not that. That. 
I swear, I have the ability to dodge that. Here he is. Uh -oh. I swear, I used to be able to parry that. I'm almost certain I can parry that. But maybe that's just dangerously stupid. Maybe I should, like, not do that. And yeah, let's go back to the Grass Crest Double Sword. I really feel like I used to be able to parry that. I don't know if my timing is like way off, but I swear I used to be able to do it. We're now 20 minutes in. We've we've only hit the second base twice. <sighs> Here's the thing. Almost all the other bosses in this game are pretty fair whenever it comes to not having the hit. You know what? It ain't even worth it. Just kill me now. <sighs> of course. All right. What else can I kill to make up for anything? Where is it? Is it this area? Is it Lothric? I think it is. I think it's Lothric Castle. I'm gonna try and fight Mr. Big Lizard Boy. And hope that works out better. At least partially better. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and pop myself a... Ah, there it is, Nimber. I didn't realize Nimber's restored that much of your health bar. Actually, have I tested to see if getting Embered actually restores health? I know I did that with the... With the Humanities and Dark Souls 2, but I don't quite remember if I did it with this game. I never reset this, did I? No, I didn't. Oops, he's chasing me. That went. Cyrus's place. Okay, so if I remember right, there's this thing. We have it. Run straight ahead. Ignore everything. Oh. Can't see. Just gonna hope he follows me. Hey, Osiris. Good to see you again, buddy. Happy to see me. Hope you're happy to see me. I forgot you had frost. Where have you gone? Are you hiding from 
guys being alive. Yeah, you. Yeah. I remember. Can't trick me. 
I remember. So you get the Path of the Dragon, which is a pretty boring emote. But it's gonna come in real handy once I remember what button. Ah, okay, here it is. So we need Path of the Dragon. There we go. And also we got this. Neat. That's useful. Actually, never mind. It's completely worthless. How lovely. And yeah, I don't know why it makes you drop like that into this. Okay, now that we got that, we're gonna go to the next secret area. Which, yes, we, we just got back from a secret area. So we're gonna go to another secret area. I know, I know. Head convoluted. But, it's worth it. Also, I don't really remember if I have the ability to upgrade my weapon again. Ah, don't remember if I needed one. chunks or what. What is this? Gothward twin swords? That looks cool. Yeah, I need Titanite slabs. At least I know another area. Welcome, speak. Very well. Then talk, take not. Okay, so let's boost our decks. Let's boost our strength to twelve, just well, because. I okay. Be. Okay, let's go back to one of the most disliked places in this whole game. Ooh, do we have? Oh, we do. How did I get that? Okay, it should be... No. 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 No, it's Earless Prison. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Earless Dungeons. I forget, Dark Souls 3 is one of the few places that doesn't have a jail. Which is spelled like a gal, which I still don't really get. I think it's weird. Hmm. Here's our little friend again. Am I terrified of him? Terrified of him? Obviously. Who wouldn't be? I think I need to get back there before I can open the door. Why would I go down from that way? Thank you. Hmm. Don't quite remember how I'm supposed to get out of here, but I'll figure it out eventually. Yes, that's a mimic. Wait, I didn't pick something up last time? Oh, that's why. I don't think I can survive that fall. 
Oh, let's try it. Yeah, I survived. Pretty useful. Huh. I guess. Those are some pretty neat things. Don't know what's up there. But I believe where I need to go is over here. So yes, I'm gonna pick up the one big thing and run away. To here. Bye bye rats. Uh, at any point in time. Oh, I forgot he wakes up. Oh, come on, I can't. I do hate the camera in this game sometimes, like, ugh, right? So where will this take me? Somewhere I want to be? Somewhere I don't need to be? Somewhere that I don't know? What? Huh. down here. Well, yeah, this is a shortcut. Right over here. That's neat. If I go down there, I reach a dead end. Do I go all the way up here? I don't think I would. I guess so. You're not a medic. Old Selkie. Yeah. It's be wild in this game. Uh, that is just... You were mice a few seconds ago. Okay, I guess. That's something. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I go this way? Oh, I was right! Okay. Let's go ahead and set up the shortcut. Oh, don't die, don't die, don't die. It's not coming after me. And also, we got one of my favorite design items in the game. Because if we go ahead and equip it, we get to become dragon. 
also gives us resistances to a bunch of stuff. This was my armor. What does this? It gives you roar, which actually gives you a buff. I know. Pretty decent damage buff, too, if I might add. So we get right here, sit next to him, and use the Path of the Dragon. We're gonna do that as a dragon. I know. Pretty spiffy, right? It looks a bit better than us looking horrible. Yeah, so. We're about to get snatched, just yoinked. By a dragon? Wait, do we just pass out? I could have swore we got, like, nabbed by a dragon and brought up to the peak. Huh. It's, uh... At least to say it's not what I was expecting, but... I mean... Uh, I guess it's something. Hey, we're about to get jumped the second we grab this item, so... Be ready. Oh. Could've swore it was that item. Maybe somewhere else. Somewhere nearby is the bonfire. And here's the trick. I got no clue where it is. So there's a shortcut for later. We'll get that in a bit. There it is. Ignore all of these boys and girls. Grab this. to be standing right there. <laughs> that fight didn't go as planned, but it didn't do too bad. Because, I mean, the whole plan there was to either die or somehow win and then rest, so... Eh, who cares? I don't. I do, but just not enough. We got where we came from, right? We even restored an ember we wasted. How fancy. Anyway, um, how much time do we get? We might have enough time. Oh, so yes. There are enemies all around us. You might not even notice them until you grab the items, which... This is a pretty nice place to level up your chunks. Okay. Cause swore I remembered stuff. But eh, uh, that's not my problem really. I mean it kind of is, but we don't need to worry about that just yet. So yes, big dragon. Oh. 
lost the engine. Boom! One shot. The ancient library. Now that is how it's done. And also, now that we killed him, we unlock something else. Very difficult fight that I'm not doing right now. Because we don't have that much time. But that also unlocks the next area in what is considered the hardest boss in this entire game. At least, base game. I'm not sure what the consensus is for the rest of them. I'm not really all entirely sure on what people think of this game now with all the extra DLCs and all that, but I remember he used to be the hardest, like he was the boss. Like, intimidating, impressive, just ooh, a sight to see. Okay, let's talk to our friend. Welcome home, I'm sorry, no, she's not our girlfriend. Well. We're married. Check the ring. Then touch the pig nuts. One of them. Okay. Farewell, Ashen One. Now we have a ton of health. Um, what do we need? One second. I think we need a Titanite, what, scale slab? I think it's a slab. Let's see. I'm gonna quickly search up uh, where to get one. Uh, reinforced weapon. Titanite slab. Let's check and see where we can find one. Titanite. Titanite's lab in DS3. Wait, what? Golden winged knights at the very top of Lothar Castle? Oh, those guys. Okay, so I can find one next to Havel. And there's one after the Nameless King. How lovely. Like, that doesn't sound like a hard fight whatsoever. So we can upgrade this sword, because it's pretty cool. There's a ton of damage too, and it's not a bad sword, I'll admit. A nice weapon. But because we aren't gonna use these things, let's might as well just put them all out. For the be careful. Alright, well, we've we've got everything we need. What do you sell now that we've gotten this far in? You got some mediocre equipment at best. I love the undead legion armor, just so fancy. Could be the dancer. It can even be Smog or Ornstein. And the Executioner, who I don't really know. The Exiles. You can get the Crown of the Big Mass, Grolnir. I like to get the Crown just because it's like, ooh, I'm a royalty. <laughs> even though I'm pretty sure you can't wear a hat with this thing on. It's a, eh, not really that much of a point there. Well, anyway. I'll see you all next time. Yeah, where's the buttons? Peace out.